Hey you guys, it's Shakira and welcome back. So this is a super impromptu video. Um, I have to go pick up my son from a study session, but I realized I had not filmed not one video talking about my healthy Thanksgiving options. So I'm gonna do that now. So this is gonna be so simple, it's ridiculous. I got these two packs of Brussels sprouts. These are actually pre-prepped, they are sliced in half. And of course, if you have to prepare meal a meal for a large group of people, you'll want to times this by whatever, how you know, five or how many people that you need. But but anyhow, I got these from my local Kroger, which is a grocery store out here in Texas. And so, you know, wherever you actually let me show you this before I put my Brussels sprouts in here. Whatever grocery store you frequent, I'm sure they have Brussels sprouts. They probably have them halved or shredded or whatever. Shredded, halved, whole, or whatever will work. And then you need just a pretty little ceramic um, container. This was this is a part of a set that I got from QVC uh, like two years ago. Very festive, very Thanksgiving-y. Thanksgiving-y. Um, and it came in like a bunch of different colors, but I got the green because, you know, that was my flow. So anyway, you put your veggies in here. Let me pick this one up and show you guys. See, here we go. Really pretty, really green. And you can also, like say this is just for you, you know what I'm saying? Make as much as you need for yourself. Anyway, moving on. Next thing I put is the liquid aminos, okay? Liquid aminos, and what I do, you have to be careful with these. If you're not used to working with liquid aminos, then you need to really be careful because they can, you can get sour or uh, really, really salty. So just a few, that was like two squirts, liquid aminos, okay? Then a little bit of olive oil. Now, because these were prepped, there was already olive oil on it, so not that much. Maybe a half a tablespoon, okay? And... I'll toss this together a little bit and it already smells amazing like even the non veggie lovers should love these or at least try them the only reason why somebody might not love these is because I don't know <laughs> if they because they're just a hater when it comes to the greens so anyway so then you have all you can do fresh herbs and spices or you can do dry like here I have thyme I have basil I have parsley, I have onion, I have oregano. Use whatever you want. I have put sage in this. I have, I mean, usually when it comes to Thanksgiving, I put all the Thanksgiving herbs into what I'm making. So, um, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave basil out because I really want this to be very Thanksgiving-like. So we'll do the thyme. So a lot or a little, depending on you know, you know who likes what at your Thanksgiving situation. I'm gonna do organic parsley. You know, I like dried is convenient because sometimes when it, when it comes to, you know, and we'll give this a toss, you know, things start to go bad. You know what I'm saying? So now smells amazing, It but it would smell and probably taste even more amazing with the fresh. I just have a thing. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of oregano because that to me is a Thanksgiving uh, herb as well, even though oregano and... Basil or more like the, you know, what am I trying to say, you guys? More like like Italian spices. So then you got your organic minced garlic. You could totally, and I dropped this the other day, so it's a little bit nasty. Uh, you could totally, you know, do your fresh garlic and mince it on your own. But when it comes to Thanksgiving, make things as easy for yourself as you can. So I love garlic, so I'm putting a lot. <laughs> Obviously, you can omit that if you are not into garlic. And so I love garlic so much. Actually, I mean, I do love garlic a lot. So I thought that this was garlic powder, but this is onion powder. So, mm, love onion powder. Okay, so just sprinkle that in. And then last but not least, I love a smoked paprika. I got this from, what's the name of that place? Um, TJ Maxx. So, 
I use smoked paprika and everything even when it comes to Thanksgiving and it has this cute little measuring situation so and you just sprinkle it I'm gonna show you what this looks like before I start tossing so there it is this is what we have and then you just toss everything all together So after you toss everything, you put it in the oven, 350 to 400 degrees, depending on where you are in the world. And then, um, you know, you let it roast and that's it. And so it's going to smell amazing. It smells amazing right now for any raw vegans. You can eat this just like this. It's actually quite delicious just eating it just like this, but I'm going to actually let this kind of hang out in the spices, hang out in the liquid aminos, marinate a little bit, and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven and I'll show you guys the finished product in a little while. And here is the finished product. Look, oh my gosh, these are gonna be so good. This is the finished product, you guys. This will be a hit at Thanksgiving, trust me. And those are my kids in the background acting a fool. But yeah, finished product. Um, let me know if you try it.